Good morning and welcome to morning meditation. We're a little different format this morning because we're getting some work done around the house. So if you hear background noise, it's uh, some work getting done around the house and praise the Lord for that. Psalm chapter 8, when I consider the heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon, the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and crowned him with glory and honor. Just a couple of things this morning I'd like to point out to us. Number one, God's the great creator. Evolution is a lie. Uh, I don't care how many times they spread the lie. The Bible tells us in Romans, let God be true and every man a liar. God tells us in Genesis, in the beginning, God. That's what they have a problem with. That's evolution's whole problem in a nutshell, in a fingernail. In the beginning, God. They're trying to take God out of everything. They've tried to take God out of the public school system. They took the Bible out in prayer in the 60s. Now what do we have? It's mass chaos. And that's exactly what evolution proves, mass chaos. Could you explain something to me? How can something as infinitely beautiful as a sunset and a sunrise, uh, a beautiful day, the human eye, all the intricacies that are involved in those things, how can that come from chaos and all of a sudden become uh, something intricately formed? The answer is, that's ridiculous. Uh, there's no such thing as evolution. That is a man-made myth because they can't stand the first phrase in the Bible that says, in the beginning, God. And so, when Psalm 8 tells us, we consider the heavens the works of thy fingers. Think about that for a minute. It wasn't the work of God's hand. It wasn't the work of God's whole being. It was just the very works of his fingers. Here's a good one. Scientists used to say we can number the stars of heaven. The Bible tells us in Job that the stars of heaven are without number, beyond multitude. And uh, they've just recently said we can't uh, give you the number of stars. There's just too many. Now, we could have saved billions of taxpayer dollars with NASA if they just would have believed the Bible. You say, well, Pastor, that's ridiculous. That's oversimplifying. I'd rather be found on God's side than the world's side any time. And when we get to the end, and when they get to the end, they're going to find out that God was true, and everything they taught was a lie. Prayerfully and hopefully, uh, some of them will believe the gospel before it's everlastingly too late for them. Uh, we just had someone who said they were listening to the um, devotions last week and took a moment to bow their head and accept Christ as their Savior. Boy, that's our desire for everyone, is not only to take a moment to realize we're a sinner separated from God. If you look at creation, it tells us there has to be a God, and that God loves us, and that God wants to take care of us, but we have to do it His way. We have to bow our head and heart and accept Him as our personal Savior, and once we do that, we're part of His family. And boy, there is nothing like uh, when we look at this verse in uh, Psalm 8, he said, What is man that thou art mindful of him, the son of man that thou visitest him? And uh, that goes for us. We're every single person in the world is a designer model. Just like there's no two snowflakes alike, there's no two human beings that are alike. Now there's some human beings that are snowflakes, uh, but we're not talking about that right now. Um, boy, God's design, he has a purpose for your life. Uh, this idea that there's life on other planets, save the text messages, save the emails. God said that he made man in his own image. If he would have made little green men from Mars, he would have told us that. And since he didn't, they don't exist. And... Uh, you know, it's amazing to me how people will put their experience above the truth of the Word of God. I want you to take a few day, few minutes today, in the next couple of days, step out into the creation and thank God for who He is and what He's done. Thanksgiving's coming up this Thursday. Set aside some time to thank God.
for all the benefits and all the love that he's bestowed on us. God bless you and have a good day.